So, still in quarantine, could there be a better time to use an app that was made specifically for being on the go? The creators of this new streaming service dropped the streaming service that is intended for in-between moments when you're out and about at a time when nobody is out and or about to do anything. That's an unfortunate case after you just spent $2 billion on something. Quibi is in the same group as like Ray's Shadow Legends and Grammarly and like Raycon of things that are advertised so much, I don't want to have anything to do with them. I see them before every single YouTube video. Right, give me a Quibi. Do you know how long it's gonna be? Just a Quibi. No. I'll go for a Quibi. It seems like they've got every celebrity on here. The lengths of advertising included Reese Witherspoon and Offset talking on Instagram Live. Everyone is like, this is so wild. Why are they having a conversation? And it's like they're clearly advertising each other's shows. Ew, I have a show on Quibi called Fierce Queens. Is it debut today? Yeah, today. I'm gonna go check it out. There's no reason why Reese Witherspoon and Offset would ever organically cross paths. <laughs> that was orchestrated by a boardroom of people that was scientifically engineered to occur, okay? It's like Lil Uzi and Meryl Streep going one-on-one -on -one in the freaking gulag in Modern Warfare. Like, this is not supposed to happen. So what the heck is a Quibi? All right, so it's apparently a quick bite of content. Ugh. All the content on this app is original and all of it is less than 10 minutes. Most of it is less than eight minutes. It launched with the ability to only watch on your phone because they're really trying to push the whole watching these things on the go aspect. But then this quarantine happened. Now they're fast tracking the ability to cast to your TV or your desktop, which should have been just there from the beginning. It's like $5 a month if you're watching with ads and $8 a month without ads. That's the same amount as Disney Plus. And they got Chicken Little on there. If you like Stranger Things, how about instead of watching a whole season, you could just watch one episode. And if that one episode was split into seven different segments with ads in the middle. Now, does Quibi sound like a pretend app that they would talk about in BoJack Horseman, for example? Perhaps. But there was one thing that did catch my eye. There was one clip from one of their shows that was circulating on Twitter. And I found out that the creator was Sam Raimi, which is one of my favorite directors ever. Creator of the Evil Dead movies, the original Spider-Man trilogy. I'm a huge fan of his, all right? Would I trade the entire MCU just to see Tobey Maguire as Spider-Man one last time? Who's to say? I'm to say. I would. So I downloaded the app to see that and what else it has to offer. And I wanted to let you guys know and rate some of the shows on my own personal scale. So the first one is that Sam Raimi show, 50 States of Fright. Each episode takes the folklore from that state and like makes a short out of it, which is a pretty good idea. So bear with me, there's literally no way to actually get the full audio and video of a Quibi like downloaded because it's only on your phone. You can't get it to your computer and take it from there or anything. So. We're gonna just have to like deal with literally how I'm watching it. It starts out with this lumberjack guy and his wife. She's the most beautiful woman in the, in the freaking town. And at one point he needs her help to cut down a tree, right? You already know where this is going. Something messes up, the tree's coming down. She does that thing where if you literally just step to the left or to the right, you'll be fine. But she's like this. comes out on her arm. Now she's just a, a, a woman with a stump. <laughs> I can't say that. No arm. The kids are just pointing and laughing at her. Oh my gosh. That's just absolutely despicable. Look at that woman. And her husband tries to get her an arm. It's hideous. I don't know why he can't just get her a regular prosthetic arm. I don't know why he's going for the winter soldier aesthetic. Can you really make that? I think so. Didn't he just, didn't he already show her that? Can you make it out of gold? I thought she meant, can you make it the color gold? Oh, you you literally meant, can I make this out of solid gold for you? Are you serious? Uh, You're like, no, I'm not making you a solid gold arm. I make chairs for a living. You can't afford that. Do you still love me? Yes, more than anything. Please make it out of gold. <laughs> so he, he literally, Makes her an arm out of solid gold bars. This is why I'm part of the Single Black Men's Association, man. First she wants you to do this, and then she wants you to make a body part out of gold. Come on! And now she's wearing this infinity gauntlet at all times. Another unrealistic beauty standard for women. I cannot believe this. The reason she wants it is to be the most beautiful woman. She felt like if she wasn't the most beautiful girl in Alpena County, Dave wasn't gonna love her anymore. How is it more attractive to have a gold arm? I'm not gonna lie, that's actually uh, low-key what I've been looking for in women these days. You know what I'm saying? Smart, uh, funny, gold limb, aluminum ear, copper toes. <laughs> oh, I, I can't watch people cough now. So she gets sick from- The tests have come in. It is pulmonary gold disease. 
pul 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 pulmonary gold disease. As long as your body keeps absorbing the gold through your skin, there's very little I can do. You've got to take off that prosthetic. No, I can't take off my golden arm. Ever. I can't take off my golden arm. Ever. Meanwhile, she's like physically deteriorating in the face. Like, woman, you're actually, you're actually decaying in front of me. Please take it off. Sir? Whatever she wants. Whatever she wants. <laughs> this gold is eating at her from the inside, dude. You know, I'm seeing it as like a, a commentary on the rich or something. When I die, bury me with my golden arm. <laughs> Promise. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> See it. I will bury you with your golden arm. <laughs> so she dies. He buries her with the arm, and then he goes broke. I like that he just comes in with a table, and the guy's like, "Sorry, bud. <laughs> like, not even options. He just has a, a wooden table, and immediately rejected. So he realizes, all right, I need that freaking gold arm. All right." I need it back. So he grave robs his wife and she comes back to life. Well, it didn't mean to sound make it sound like that. And this is where it actually starts getting like, okay, this is actually interesting. There's like horror elements going on. This is where the Sam Raimi influence is actually coming through. This is Sam Raimi, it's tongue in cheek. Tongue in cheek, tongue and cheek. It's a tongue and a cheek. This is probably the best one out of all the horror shorts. There's one where like a girl gets trapped in the world's largest ball of twine. All of these just feel like those chain emails I'd read as a kid. Elizabeth was a very smart girl. One day she saw a man standing outside her window. Send this to 10 people, or you'll see that same man outside your window. I'll be like, oh my god, all right, and forward it to 50 people. I'm not seeing that man outside my friggin' window, dude. If you're from Michigan, though, let me know. Is that the uh, the folklore y'all have? Is that the tales you tell around the campfire of this golden arm? So there are some creepy ones here, but would I pay for any of these? Not really. If they managed to get Sam Raimi to make Spider-Man 4 on this app, I would pay $1. Hundred thousand dollars. Until then, right now, I'm giving this two and a half Tobey Maguire's out of five. There's some stuff on Quibi that's so bad it's good, and some stuff that's just bad. There's a show with Anna Kendrick and her boyfriend who looks like he could be her dad. And basically, how do I say this without getting demonetized? Her boyfriend has this doll, right? And uh, the doll talks to her. But they made the CGI on her face so off-putting. Why? Why did they make it? Why did they make it look like this? Who is that? He's like 14. So, I'm seven. Zero out of ten. Burn that thing. Another show is Chrissy's Court, starring Chrissy Teigen. I like Chrissy Teigen. Her mom is the bailiff in the show. That's adorable. But the show is just more awkward than anything else. Like, weirdly, there's a lot of parts where she, like, forgets how wealthy she is. Would you charge somebody for a car if you're in a relationship? Yes. I mean, I, I, it's, no, because he's rich. <laughs> so it's but, like... <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's different, never mind. Wait, so where do you both live? Culver City. Okay, amazing restaurants out there. Have you been to Vespertine? No. We don't have that much money. And yeah. Naka? No, we don't have the kind of money you have. We don't have the kind of money you have. We're poor. Yeah, let's put that in. They'll try to get John Legend in the show as often as possible, even if it doesn't make any sense. He broke his own speaker, so I don't own anything. We actually have an expert in music, and he's going to come out and help me out, so come on out. I can prove it, Your Honor. I've got the notes right here. Notes? As in, like, music? No, why would We've I... We've actually got a, a music expert right over here. It's John Legend. I did it my way. Like, I like John Legend. I can never get enough John Legend. But at a certain point, they might as well have just made it like a couple show. For now, I'm gonna give it one John Legend out of five John Mayers. One of the main things about Quibi is the uh, turn style, they call it. So it's like basically you literally can just, you can shift the entire thing you're watching like this and it's pretty seamless. I don't really know what show you'd want to watch in portrait mode, but it is cool going like this. The problem is I just keep turning it back and forth. Like every two seconds, I wanna see what it looks like if it was the other way. That's not how I wanna watch my shows, but I'm literally doing this every two seconds. And who really wants to watch a movie like this? Everything's just like really close up. Because of this though, the content feels like it's like Snapchat TV, you know what I mean? I don't know if Snapchat has like an original content type of source, but it feels like if they did, this is what it would be. All the game shows like Punked with Mr. The Rapper or Murder House Flip, which sounds like they turned a clickbait title into a TV show. I feel like this either belongs on a Snapchat or on a YouTube, not under a paid subscription. The best things on Quibi are so short, it actually pisses me off. Both The Stranger and When the Streetlights Go On are actually low-key fire. And they had me pretty interested. I was actually like, okay, this is what I'm talking about. But since they're so short, they just kind of end abruptly. 
And I'm like, you might as well just put this on Netflix so we can actually get the most out of it. If I was a millionaire lit out of my mind at a party and somebody told me about Quibi, I probably would have wrote them a check, you know what I'm saying? Freaking invested in it. Why not? But as someone who is of sober mind right now without any money, I'm gonna have to say no. I do see the potential in it though. I don't want it to just crash and burn like a lot of people. So the creator of this is billionaire Jeffrey Katzenberg. So Jeffrey, all right, if you want some advice from a 23 year old who went to freaking business school, okay? I know you're a billionaire and everything. You did a lot of stuff with DreamWorks and Disney. But I got a degree in business, all right? Pricing's gotta be a little more aggressive. Like, can't be the same amount as Hulu and Disney Plus when those places have so much more content already. These people gotta compete with all those things, Netflix, Hulu, Apple TV Plus, HBO, and also have to compete with TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, all the things on your phone already. I feel like people are already used to long form content. You watch this video and it's longer than 10 minutes. I'm honestly interested to see if they can actually make this thing work. I don't know, right now I'm like, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just thought this was interesting from a business marketing perspective I'm gonna just keep talking about stuff that I'm interested in and whatever I want to do to be honest What do you think? What do you think about Quibi? You know what Quibi is? Are you tired of he hearing me say Quibi? I'm tired of the word forever. I never want to hear it again.